Yeah, um, you know, there's I don't know if there's many more things harder to do in soccer than beating the same team twice in the same season, yet alone uh, we didn't play them that long ago. Yeah, but um, they're a good team. Um, you know, they've made some adjustments since we last played them. Um, I think we'll need, we'll need to make some adjustments for them uh, as well in, in what we do. But um, at the end of the day, I think uh, it's just about at this time of year, it's about surviving and advancing and getting a result. And um, one of the things we need to can make sure that our guys re remember and realize is that no one cares what it looks like anymore. It's just got to get the uh, get the end result, and that's what we're playing for. Now, regardless of the opponent this weekend, still home field advantage. How how big can that play for you guys, being that you get to not only compete for this title, but you get to do it here in front of the home crowd? Yeah, I think uh, the initial advantage is, you know, we get to sleep in our beds. We get to uh, go through our normal pregame routine at home. We get to eat the meal that we typically like to eat and um, don't have to sit on a bus or on a plane. Um, but the real advantage will come if we can put butts in those seats and people turn out and they're loud and they get behind this team. Um, you know, I said back way, way early in September um, that I thought this team could win a lot of games this year. Um, and our fans have been a big reason why we've been able to home, hold home field uh, so many times. Um, we've won a lot of games this year. I think we can still win a lot more and we can put some butts in those seats. I, I don't see why we can't uh, continue to, to get a couple more wins this weekend. Five game winning streak, won seven of the last eight. Do you feel this right now, the way this team is playing, that everything is just coming together at the correct time? I mean, yes and no. I don't think any coach um, would ever really admit that, you know? Um, I think uh, the coach in me, regardless of whether we win or lose, is always saying, trying to figure out what we can do better. I think there's so many things that we can still do better. Um, it's hard this time of year to get better because you don't get to practice a whole lot. You're pretty much just playing and, uh, and recovering. But, um, we're certainly finding ways to win games and we've had to come from behind to win games. I think the coach speak for me to these guys is stop playing from behind. It's, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> um, but, you know, at the same stage, uh, we certainly have a resiliency to us. Um, I think it's a collective resiliency. Uh, and there's something to be said about teams that just know how to win and find ways to win. And that's where we're at right now. You talk about finding ways to win. Some of the past couple games have just really come down to one goal, and we've heard it from the players as well that this is not a team that gets complacent even after winning the regular season title. Just how mm -hmm. important is that mindset to know that even you do get the result, but they still are wanting to achieve and achieve more? Yeah, I mean, we focus on the details every day. We focus on humility every day. Um, I, think, I think you may have been there when one of our wins where I said it's important that we stay humble. Um, and... I think that's a great characteristic for a team to have. I think that's what builds res resiliency is you can stay humble and, and make sure that you keep things in perspective, win or lose. Um, you know, there's a good chance that good things will happen coming out of them. Um, I, I think we are comfortable in the fact that we know we've, we've won a regular season championship. We've probably done enough to put ourselves in a really good position for a seat in the NCAA tournament. Um, that now our whole focus and our sole focus should be on competing for winning uh, a tournament championship here this weekend. Um, and I love that this group is hungry. Um, I feel like this group still feels like they've got something to prove individually and collectively. Um, and, and uh, you know, those, those, those t tiny details that we follow on a daily basis, I think are paying through for us right now.